here at the Amgen Tour of California, we have a couple long stages and intense days. So my power bar plan is to, to start with the power bars. And uh, as we get closer to the end, when you need that sugary spike, and that little extra oomph, you reach back and you grab a couple power gels. I normally eat uh, the energy bars when I'm on the bike. I start maybe half an hour after the start of the ride or the race. Then I'm getting into the rhythm, try to eat every half an hour. I guess I can eat four or five bars six, seven gels, especially by the end of the race or the training ride, I uh, have more gels. Our races go over four, or five, sometimes six hours. Towards the end, it's getting very hectic and there we go more on the, the power gels. I had a bad experience when I didn't eat enough and then you go hunger flat, you can be as strong as you want, but then you have no more more power in the, or energy in the body. Is this a power bar wafer? So this is cool to see the uh, power bar performance energy bar, the original style come back out with the PB&J. Nice. That's good, actually. It's very good. Wow, really good. It's good to just get like a little snack, like right before the start, kind of keep the, the blood sugar up. Can I have more of this? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Really happy that Powerbar is one of our sponsors. It makes us really happy for, you know, making mazettes, making feet for the, for the riders, because there's a lot of flavors, different bars, different gels. If you go to dinner and you have every night the same food, it's kind of boring. It's always hard to eat in a time trial and hard to drink in a time trial, but if you're able to do it, there's big performance benefits, that's for sure.